Now, did you watch the, speaking of being a cuck, because I was turned into one. Yes. I don't know if you watched Nick Schwartzen on Theo Vaughn. I don't watch anybody else's podcast. But Nick was, he was like, I'm Brian Callen. I'm going to beat him up when I see him. I'm going to beat Nick up. We're going to get him on the podcast. And he's going, I'm Brian Callen. Nick Schwartzen, one of my favorite people in the world. He's the best. I love him. And then he called you Thiefer McSutherland. Which is hilarious. He, remember when he came, when he was on the Fire and the Kid back in the old studio? Yeah. And he roasted us? He said, he said I look greatest. like an Italian Lego. He's <laughs> so <laughs> good. Nick is the guy. I just talked he's to him. He's the funniest guy of all I just time. talked to him recently. Yeah. He was, he's doing some movie. But uh, yeah. I love him. And he is yeah. truly one of the funniest Brian people on the planet. Callen. Well, I have yeah. the clip here. So, Wait, so, so let's set it up with the clip, yeah. especially for the people listening. So it's a clip of... Nick Swartzen and Theo Von Talken. The title says Nick Swartzen and Brendan Shaw both like fajitas. Yeah. So there's been, you know, whatever, bottom dwellers being like, oh, Shab stole a bit from Nick Swartzen. He, he must have done a special on, I don't know, about fajitas. And I had a bit on fajitas. And remember, my girl's Mexican, right? So yeah, but you wrote a lot of we're at all, food, uh, Mexican food jokes. Yeah, a ton of them. That, so the fajitas, yeah. when I was saying how embarrassing it is, like we're in uh, bottle service at the club, like we were fajitas, like, oh, out, right. you're like, geez, like it's embarrassing. Yeah. Like everyone Steve turns Burns has a joke and like watches you, I'm sure. So I do, it's not a special anything. I do that bit at the comedy store. I wrote it, I don't know, right before I went on, right? So I do that bit maybe three times. And then some fan was like, oh, that's like Nick Swartzen's bit. I go, Nick has a fajita bit. He goes, yeah. And this is what people don't realize. Commu the comedy community is pretty tight knit. We all know each other. So all I do is <laughs> Nick as a friend is text and go, hey, man, heard you have fajita bit. I have a new bit that I wrote about fajitas. You have fajita bit? He goes, I have something like it. What's your premise? I go, fajitas, how embarrassing it is when you wear fajitas. It's sizzling. It's like wearing bottle service at the club. He goes, not exactly like, my not exactly like mine. I can see how people see it. I went, all good. Not going to do it anymore. Well, I was I, also, even, I was even influenced by Nick Swartz. I've never seen. I've never seen his hour. I've never seen. I just know. I, I don't watch a ton of comedy. I've never seen a I special. Know. I've never seen anything. You don't steal. Jokes. We've had him on That's the no, so no, no. silly. Yeah. No, no. But also, it's not worth talking about because it's hilarious. But I love Thiefer McSutherland. So funny. And and um, <laughs> uh, but I remember when I watched Kevin Hart. I think it's called Laughing at My Pain, and he talks about his dad the whole time. I went. I should start writing about my dad. And guess what? I had 50 minutes on my fucking yeah, dad. Easily. That's how it works, man. Yeah. yeah but That's how the, it works. The sometimes, like, I'll see a bit, like, I, I forget what comics doing a bit, because I had a bit about Mexicans crossing the border, right? About my wife. Yeah. I saw somebody do the bit, and it was so good. Yeah. Similar, parallel thinking. It was so good about Mexicans coming to America. I went, I'm not doing that bit yep. anymore. Sometimes that I happens. can't compete with that. I've that, seen that. That's the best, but I, when, uh, as far as Mexicans crossing the you know, I, this, I think it's Santino's bit. About Mexican, he does the, he does the, I think it's Antonio, he does the accent and everything. I'm like, A, I can't do accents like that. B, th it was so much smarter, intelligent than my bit. I'm good. Yeah. I literally, I saw that. I, I, me, Laugh Factor, then probably went, oh, I'm the, I'm not doing the. I've done that. He, it, and the only common thing was about them crossing the border. And his was so unique and such a good take. I went, oh, no, that's so much better than mine. I'm out. One of the reasons I I'm don't watch, I, I've never watched a lot of comedy is because I'm always afraid of that. Like, I'm always afraid I'm going to steal something or gonna, I'm going to see something. You know, yeah. Not steal it, but just subconsciously. Because yeah. you can see some shit, and it'll get in your head, and the next thing you know, two years later, you write a bit. And you think it was original? That can come from, you don't know. You can't control it. I haven't that. had that problem yet. Like I, said, I haven't the, either. The but only but parallel think I've had is this fajita bit. But like Theo said, yeah, I talked to Theo yesterday. He's like, hold on. You think you are the only two comics that were fajitas and got embarrassed? Yeah. He's like, dude, I, I, even before Nick, I've heard of fajita bit. People who steal jokes get found out. Yeah. <clears throat> and that's, I was going to say. Out. Especially in today's age. Yeah, like back in the day, like I'll name, com I can name some comics that have stolen some of our friends' bits. Life catches up with them. You you just, you can't get away, especially in today's society with social media and podcast. There's no way to get away with it. You, you won't have a career. Yeah. You'll get found out. And as you guys are both pointing out, it's something that's on your mind as the worst accusation you can have as a stand-up comedian that you steal other jokes. So you guys are already guarded against it. Whereas it's like, I'll see fitness like comedy videos and it's like, oh, you're you're doing the exact same video as somebody else because that ethos doesn't exist. But in, but in, but comedy, in comedy, you, you couldn't show up to the improv, the comedy store, Laugh Factory if you're stealing jokes. You oh, no, no. get, it's, vote, you, it's you get voted off the island. The there's, there's nothing worse. You get voted off the island. If that was your thing, there's guys, yeah. that's their thing. They're not allowed yeah. in those environments. People will steal premises and yes, uh, so. 
Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good luck. There's a few guys that still I don't care. Promises. As I'm care. announcing my last day here, I can't work for. <laughs> can't work for um, Thebes. Yeah, you, wanna, you, get, you wanna you play the clip or do we want to? You guys want to see the clip or are you good? What clip? The uh, it's it's a uh, the Theo Vaughn one. Theo and Nick talking about it, which I think no, we saw. Oh no, we saw it. Okay, we played it right. No, we didn't play the whole clip. Oh, we didn't. Oh, oh, okay, hit it. Brian Callen. Oh, Brian did that. That's why I thought I saw. By fucking shop. Just sitting there. Hurtful. Fucking shop. Thief or Sutherland. <laughs> Thief yeah, or Sutherland. Yeah, that's what I call him. Dang, no, I'm kidding. I, there was a bit about shop. Like, I guess he said, people say he stole some fajita joke from me. Did he? I don't know. I don't care. It was just funny. Like, he was like, I, did I he? I don't care if he did, but I doubt it. I mean, he's had fajitas. Yeah, a lot of people have had fajitas. Yeah. <laughs> But I haven't seen, I don't know if I've even seen, I, I haven't seen that joke. Theo would know. No, I mean, who fucking cares? Fucking Brian. Me and Theo have done a million sets together. He would know. I'm going to beat was... him up. It's so I funny. Yeah. Brian getting fucked. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 